Okay, I'm going to try to make a short little video of my nickel plating process using my nickel plate solution, which was made with vinegar. What I did was I put two nickel plates in, positive, negative, and then just let it sit and churn. Uh, there, I'll put a link for the video probably down in the left hand corner of this video and uh, you can go back and look at how I made the solution and I'm using just a wall wart they call them a wall wart it's a USB uh, plug-in and a little USB oops, little USB cord that I made I just took an old USB uh, plug-in cord and hacked it, uh, hacked the end off and put the positive and negative uh, little clamps, little alligator clips on. I've got an uh, alligator clip to go from one side to the other so that I can get both sides of my plating done at the same time. Otherwise it'll only go to the plate that you have the current going to. So I use that and like I say this and uh, it, it works better if it's warm. I don't know what the temperature is. I'm going to take the temp. If I can get it open. Ooh, yeah, you can smell. It's still, <laughs> you still smell, smell the vinegar. I'm going to go take its temperature and see what, what the temp is. This is Celsius, too. It's not moving because it's the same as the air temperature 25 degrees Celsius whatever that is in Fahrenheit I don't know I'm not I don't not sure of that all right and I've got a piece of brass tubing here I'm just gonna do the end of it here the first thing I do go over here on my buffing wheel Want to get it to look nice. I'm going to buff it up quite a ways so you can see the difference. buffed it with is just a buffing wheel with jeweler's rouge on it so I forgot the cleaner I will be back here in a second I'm gonna lay that I'm gonna lay that down on the bench here and I'm gonna go get the cleaner that I use cleaner and a couple paper towels yeah. and I found this stuff works I found that this stuff works pretty good for cleaning. Oh, I need a couple paper towels also. Wipe it down and a pencil. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna block the end off with a pencil. But this is the cleaner that I use. I just just so happens I bought another jug because I was out. Ran out. Oh darn it! Dropping that on the floor. I'm dinging up the ends. So anyway. This is what I use, and I just bought this jug yesterday. So take the and just this is the concentrate. Also, it's not uh, it's not been pre-mixed with water or anything. And just stir it up a little bit and wipe it off. Now, let get this out of the way. Don't need to see that no more. Alright, so now 
what we want to do is we want to put our nickel plates in there. I'm going to lay this. I want to lay this somewhere where it's not going to can lay that, balance that up over there. So now we got to get our nickel plates in there. And I ordered it off the internet. I ordered the nickel plate. It's 99% or pretty close to 100% nickel. And I put them in the plastic bag. I don't know if I would have had to. And then I got a couple old battery charger clips. So what I'm going to do is put that in the jar, hopefully. And clamp that without it falling in. I've had them fall in too. Just and then I got. I couldn't find my other uh, charger clip, so I, it's an old television uh, antenna wire clip. Hopefully that will work. It should. Basically the same thing. No, it won't go wide enough. All I need to do is hold it there. Alright, and what I do is I put a jumper wire from this plate to this plate. That way it's surrounded because you're only going to get the nickel plate on the side of the nickel plate itself. So we take and we put, oh, and I just grabbed it by the, ah, can't do that. So wipe her down again. You cannot touch it after you clean it. Uh, finger plant, fingerprints or anything on it will oh and what I was going to do is I was going to just take a pencil a sharpened one or, you know, I'm just going to stick it in the end here and then, and then break it off uh, that didn't work oh darn it ah when you're in a hurry to try to show something and I figured this would work pretty good just taking it in there. Oh no, I'll just take a clipper and clip it off. Uh, just a second here. And now I can't find the clippers. My side cutters. Oh. Alright. So take and, I'm just going to take and snip that off. Now the end is plugged up. I just didn't want the solution going in the inside. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to put that in there. Now it's going it, to, it won't, probably won't plate down on the end, but it will up where the, so I'm going to take this, hook the positive up. doesn't matter which plate because they're connected together, so I'm just going to hook it to this plate. And the negative, I'm going to hook up here to that. I'm going to plug in the wall wart, and then I'm going to plug in, and it, you should start seeing bubbles right away. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's bubbling. And uh, I should have a clock here running to show you. It doesn't take all that long. Uh, I'd say at the most five minutes, ten minutes. Okay, let's just see where we're at. I'll unplug that. Take this clip off of here. Pull it out. Done. It's already done. Uh, now I don't know how well that's going to show up. Come on, focus on that. Can you focus on that, please? I'm going to have to switch to manual focus, I think. There we go. But you can see. You can see the difference. On uh, the side, on the uh, stuff that we just did, looks like chrome. Brass. Chrome. And you've seen how long it took. Didn't take very long at all. And uh, like, I, and if you don't polish this stuff, uh, yeah, you're not gonna get a chrome looking finish.
but you polish it before you put it in. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Without even hooking up power to it, I'll plug the other end. I didn't polish the other end, but I'm going to plug this other end up. I'm going to unhook the power to it. Well, it's not even. And I'm just going to put this in there with. First, I got to clean it. Clean it. And I'm going to put that in there without no power to it, even. And show you what it does. In between the two plates, no power. We'll just let it sit there for a little bit. Now, this. Like I say, the solution was made with, not with acid, and naturally, yes, there, uh, vinegar is acid, basically. Uh, but I don't, use hydro, I don't use hydrochloric acid or any of that other stuff. And I made the copper solution the same way as I made the, the, the nickel solution. Two copper plates, run the juice through in, in uh, vinegar, vinegar, and boom, it, uh, it's a different color than this. It, uh, it's an ugly color. <laughs> the one that I got sitting on the shelf. I'd pull it down and show you. That's not going to do it today, but well, you can see it's starting to. I'd have to leave it in there a long time. But it'll actually coat a little bit. You know, let's just put that in there and we'll put the power, positive power on it again. I didn't polish that side. We'll show you what it looks like without uh, polishing it. And my clip will go wide enough to clip that. Stay on there. All right. Put the juice to it. Let it bubble a little bit. It only takes like four or five minutes. Well, the last one took what? Not even a minute. Well, maybe it was a minute. I didn't time it. I don't. I should have. Like I say, I should have set a clock here. But you can go back on my videos, and and it, I showed how to make the solution. It, it's very simple to make. The only thing is, you got to make sure you're using 99% pure nickel. Don't use uh, something that isn't. Uh, I found another source of 99% uh, pure nickel in if you're making uh, CAD battery packs, the, the plate, the little plates that go in between the batteries, 99% nickel. I didn't know that and then I found that out. And I, that's way cheaper than buying those nickel plates. But those nickel plates will last for a long, last longer than, than I'll ever use them. All right, let's just take a look at it and see what we got. Now you can see down here where I didn't buff it and get it really good and clean, it's kind of a black. And here where I didn't buff it and didn't buff the oxidization off, it's kind of a grayish color. Yeah, you ain't seeing it at all. Focus. But you can see, there's the black. That's from the oxidation on the on the brass. You know, all the oxidation that you didn't polish off, you can wash it until hell freezes over and you're never going to get that off. And uh, same thing up here, up here turns kind of a grayish color. And here's the stuff that I washed and, and well I got dirty fingerprints all over it now. I'm wipe it off here. But you can see, come on, It looks like chrome, all the way up to where it's a shiny, shiny chrome. And this, this is not. This is, uh, you know, let, let, let me buff just a little spot. I'm going to buff just a little spot of this, and then we'll do, and we'll do it again. spot. I'm going to wash it. 
wash it in the degreaser. It's going to be a longer video than I thought. I thought it was just going to be just a couple minutes. And I'm going to wipe that down. Put it in the solution. Hook the negative wire back up if I can. Come on. Yeah. Looks like I'm just going to have to hold it on there. My alligator clip isn't going to open up far enough. It's low voltage current. It's not going to hurt. I mean, it's not going to zap you or anything. So I'll just hold it on there with my hand. I'm just holding it there. And we'll let it let it sizzle for a little bit. And as you use the solution, it gets better and better too. It's it gets more nickel into the solution. So the color will change a little bit, gets darker and darker. That's been long enough? That's been what, a minute, two minute and a half? How long have I been jabbering? <laughs> so Alright, we're gonna see what see what we get. Well, you can kind of see the spot, but it just still didn't turn out real well. Best thing is, like I say, to polish it before you even start doing anything with it, because then it's, it, it turns to a chrome color. I think that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.